Hey, welcome to the Lux channel. So far I have discussed a few episodes on uh, data visualization and analytics. And as a part of the same I shot uh, video episodes on uh, PHP uh, scripting and then uh, I have discussed about uh, MySQL database and also I have discussed about uh, RRD tools, RRD graph and uh, stuff like that. So as I mentioned these are the episodes which are mainly focused towards uh, system software developers uh, kernel programmers uh, network software developers and uh, stuff like that because uh, people who work uh, in the areas like this uh, may have exceptional uh, you know core uh, programming skills they may work on a very core uh, programming aspects so, but at the same time they lack completely uh, <laughs> the other uh, skill sets uh, something to visualize their own data and in indeed what they spend their time is on uh, uh, debugging tools and other uh, stuff which is also again related to system level aspects because uh, they may do so much time they may spend on gdb and other stuff the question is not about whether using a debugging tool is wrong or not but the question is you are doing all these things with your eyes shut that's about it so you are doing literally programming like a blind person so unless you don't have a proper visualization you can forget even working in system software development so with that you need to build certain skill sets and this is what is the objective of my video series don't consider if you work <laughs> something in uh, web uh, programming or if you are doing some java scripts don't consider it is not of your domain you have to have certain skills so don't use some you know dirty excel sheet uh, graphs and uh, if you have some million uh, data points how can you plot a graph in an excel sheet or something so you should have some kind of a professional approach so that you can uh, plot your uh, data and at the same time you should have that ability to criss cross uh, between your data and analyze uh, further in this episode uh, what i have done is uh, if you do a netstat uh, command uh, we can uh, get you know various uh, analysis you can get uh, uh, things like established uh, tcp connections so open udp sockets open tcp sockets and uh, stuff like that uh, hope you must have seen so let me just open a new tab netstat minus l you can get all these things you can get uh, uh, t and then you can get uh, u and uh, you can get a n and stuff like that so there are so many variants of netstat command and one of the variant is a and t and this shows established connections as well as the other type of connections like listen and time wait and stuff like that so if you are a network uh, programmer uh, uh, it is interesting whenever you work on some kind of you know uh, tcp stack level stuff and you are analyzing something on system parameters uh, you can analyze uh, the same you can just do you know grep uh, established and stuff like that so this way we can filter the same so today what i have done is uh, i have done uh, uh, i have taken this um, command output and uh, i started uh, plotting in the form of a graph uh, like an rrd graph so that this gives a live example because so far in this episode uh, i have discussed about the overall uh, theoretical aspects and the significance of learning such tools whereas in this episode i would like to show a live example so that uh, this kind of helps you so what i have done is i have done a, a code you can see here so in this code the only thing i have not uh, done is i have not filtered this established so which uh, we can uh, do the same uh, so you can see here this is my uh, php script and this is my rrd graph uh, create a schema schema means uh, in a database uh, you uh, create tables with certain uh, types of rows and other constraints so everything put together is called a schema so this is my schema since it is already created as i said before we can uh, comment the same and then this is my create graph if you notice my uh, previous episode the create graph is uh, completely different over here because i have customized i have removed all those other stuff which is not relevant for this type of graph so in this uh, we are tracking this established connections and this is my infinite while loop you can see here i am doing netstat and i am doing a chop and i am removing that uh, uh, new line character and i am parsing that into the php script 
वंस अगेन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो इन डेप बिकॉज देर आर अदर एपिसोड्स विच आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सो इफ यू सी यर दिस इज माई सिंगल लाइन यू नो शेल स्क्रिप्ट एंड विद दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू यू नो पार्स दैट आउटपुट एंड देन गेट इट आउट सो इफ इन केस इफ आई रन द सेम यू कैन कन्फर्म वेदर इट वर्क फाइन इफ आई रन द सेम you get that number so currently there are totally five established connections so if you see here you have this rrd tool and uh, i'm inserting that uh, you know value into the database rrd as i mentioned this is not like mysql database this is like like a sort of special round robin database where it uh, after some time it consolidates old historical data by itself automatically but if you use mysql database you need to do it manually so that's about it so i am passing the same this is the column type which is stab and this is the value you can see here this is the variable and i'm executing a you know a system command so that it inserts the same into the database so i am generating this graph after every five iterations roughly uh, so that uh, it is not doing it for every iteration because it is getting this at high frequency you can see here it is sleep of one every second once it is pulling this data and pushing into the file uh, which itself is kind of io intensive so this is the reason once in a while i am generating this graph and once you do the same it generates that gif image so hopping on to the you know web script this is my uh, web script so this is my html page uh, hope you can see there so what i am doing is uh, i am uh, displaying that image i can just do this alone uh, but i have written a small uh, javascript so that it does that auto refresh so that you get that auto refresh feature in the um, you know online uh, graph as well in the web page so that is what it is doing and it is adding some random uh, delay and it is uh, going to refresh uh, that gif image so i am uh, registering this over here you can see here stab minute and stab minute so it is registered and uh, much before that i am just uh, doing a casual print of uh, the host name and then i am showing the message as established connections of that host name so if you go to the browser uh, you get a visualization like this you can see here it is uh, showing the same but there is an error in the same because uh, i have not filtered established connections uh, and uh, that is something which i have done a grep of stab just now as you can see i have done just now grep established so with that uh, what we can do is we can just cancel the same and uh, we can you know delete this rrd uh, which is over here we can just enable this uh, schema and then before that uh, executing the same we can delete the rrd rm rrd slash that is the database established uh, net stat established rrd so with that the database is dropped or deleted and then uh, as you can see here the schema is enabled so now if you do php minus f uh, and uh, you know uh, if you just execute this script it is going to create that uh, database it is going to create that schema and then it is going to feed this you know values since it is now created you can just go ahead and uh, you can just comment it offline okay once you do the same you can go back here and if you refresh you can see here you have this established uh, connections uh, per second so i have displayed this value as a stab per second because this is what it is and you can also see currently there are 4.9 established connections per second and the, the average is 3.6 all this is generated automatically that's the beauty of you know rrd uh, graphs so if you go to a website and if you just you know browse few pages as you know it is going to establish the back end tcp connections and this is going to you know fluctuate and this is going to hike up these values so we can confirm again going back here and you can see here there is a spike the more you do such operations i'm opening uh, uh, google chrome as well and i'm uh, uh, seeing uh, my linux channel uh, you know Uh, youtube uh, site so with that again you are going to get bunch of tcp established connections so if you go back and trace you can see here there is again sharp 
uh, you know spike in the graph so this is not going to be showed if you are doing some uh, heavy duty file transfers or something like that because no matter what large file you download it is going to be just one file it is going to be one established connection but this is something quite easy to demonstrate if you have a scenario like a simple internet uh, you know web pages uh, or uh, websites if you browse you get lots of connections uh, happening in the backend because for every resource it has to form the backend connection so similarly let me just open facebook because i need some sites which have so much of you know resources so that we get that you know sharp spikes you can see here after some time it is slowly dropping down let me close this uh, chrome and uh, let us see how it you know drops down yeah so let me open facebook and you can see here it has little drop down and then due to the facebook again it is going to go up so since it is having the frequency of every 5 seconds you know you can see here after every 5 seconds the graph is getting refreshed but the data points we are collecting every uh, second once so that's is uh, that is the sort of you know frequency uh, where in which we can set that resolution and if you are doing some kind of uh, high performance computing some kind of uh, uh uh you know higher resolution data points you need you can reduce this uh, delay and then you get a much more you know fluid representation instead of sleep you can put some you sleep or something and uh, you can get at a much higher resolution so that you are not losing anything uh in between so that you know you get that higher resolution and dead, and then you can get even more you know fluid graph so with that you know facebook it is now uh, saturated over there and if i just scroll this quickly it is going to form you know further uh, you know backend connections so let me refresh or we can just wait because it does that auto refresh anyway yeah you can see here again it is going towards north uh, word and then it is you know fluctuating and it is getting saturated so this way you can use uh, uh, these uh, data visualization tools so this is a live example of the same and this way uh, i can do further uh, some more examples uh, and initially i may focus on uh, networking aspects uh, because this is where uh, sometimes it needs because uh, networking is a continuous uh, exchange of data and you need to visualize this uh, you know exchange of data in the real time and same thing you can apply uh, over your uh, other system profiling aspects as well you can uh, track the live uh, consumption of your memory or uh, some other memory aspects and uh, the way you do your code you can see the uh, you know other parameters how it is uh, you know using the system resources and uh, stuff like that so this gives us a sort of you know start of professional way to do data visualization and analytics of your <clears throat> you know system aspects and this is something very much vital if you are a system software developer it is not a question of whether you are learning javascript or mysql or something like that don't assume that it is some other domain not really suited for you you may not get you know such graphs maybe your graphs may look shoddy uh, because uh, this is something uh, the color combination or something i chose i am an artist myself so obviously i use certain pastels so with this uh, it gives that uh, true perspective of uh, your code in the system uh, which is in that uh, you know live uh, atmosphere uh, dealing with that real time uh, data and uh, which is also dynamic in that uh, you know context so hope you can see now uh, since there is no much activity in the system i have even uh, closed that uh, you know facebook um, page you can see here uh, there is no much activity in the system so the established connections uh, uh, rate have been uh, dropped down you can see here it has almost dropped down uh, to uh, a minimum of 4 uh, or 5 uh, connections uh, per second uh, rate So with this uh, I would like to conclude this video in case if you have anything to discuss or if you have anything uh, to share uh, be in touch via mail thank you once again for watching this video stay tuned have a nice day bye bye